Hi, I'm Jim Carrey. No, not that Jim Carrey. Welcome to my kitchen and my little cabin in Georgia. Um, this house was built right after the War of Northern Aggression. Uh, we're in the middle of Sherman's March to the Sea, a 20 mile wide swath where everything was destroyed. So it was built around 1864. I came out here 10 years ago. I put in uh, indoor plumbing, um, my, um, electricity, um, you know, the modern conveniences, but it's just an old sharecropper's cabin. That's why the kitchen's so small. This was actually the back porch. The pot belly stove was over here. And um, when I built this, I wasn't a raw fooder, so this is a regular stove, but I used the chimney for the vent. And uh, uh, you can tell that hasn't been out for a while. But now I use it to put my dehydrator on. I just put a board over it. Um, today we're going to make green smoothies. And um, the main point today, I've had a lot of questions about do you need a Vitamix blender because they're so expensive. No, you don't need a Vitamix blender. You can use any blender. Um, I find the modern blenders, what you buy in the store nowadays, they tend to burn out in a few weeks, a couple months. But older blenders, I bought this at a yard sale for 2 or $3. Um, I've been using it for over six months and it hasn't burned out yet. And these older blenders, they take a little longer to do everything, but they work just fine. So, Green Smoothie 101. How to get started with, the, with well, also called Energy Soup, but Dr. Ann called Energy Soup. And it really is a little different. Green smoothies are a lot richer. They tend to have oils in them, um, maybe maple syrup or honey, other sweeteners. Dr. Ann's program is really about simplicity and back to nature. So I'm going to make one of her energy soup recipes, although recipes really are just a guideline. Um, energy soup is an art, not a science. So this is my filtered water system. I have well water and you know for, seven, for under $20 you can get a do-it-yourself testing kit. But if you live out in the country like this, $400 to have a good uh, uh, to have a good water test done is well worth it and peace of mind. I found after I put in this under sink filtration system for about $300 that I really didn't need it, but I am taking the iron out of the water and, and uh, um, I forget, there's something else, coupled chemicals. I've had them tested both ways. Uh, but it's a filtration system, it's not distillation. And I think the most important thing about the filtration system is the third stage is a charcoal, a charcoal filter. Uh, 16 ounces on a 40 ounce blender, a bit much. I'm going to cut it back to, what I got there, 12 ounces. That'll probably be about right. Grab my cutting board. Now, the foundation, the foundation of energy soup is really, you know, we call it raw living foods. The foundation is your sprouts, your living sprouts. Oh, this is neat. You take cheesecloth or uh, um, window screening and wide mouth mason jar and you can actually hold the screen on with the lid like that for soaking and sprouting. Tell you what, I'll do a, I'll do a video later this morning about sprouting in your kitchen. I grow all my own sprouts on the kitchen counter um, over here in the corner. And normally, now this is the third take of this video this morning, I'm running out of sprouts. Normally, I would fill this blender about half full of sprouts. And we use these sprouts because when they, in these first few days of growth, they have a huge burgeoning of, um, of not only vitamins and minerals, but also what Dr. Ann called their life force, or, or science now calls biophotonic energy. So imagine I've got that much green sprouts in there. It's, you can see from over here, uh, well, I've, got a lot, <laughs> I've got a lot of green smoothies made up for later today. I'm going to have to invite company over. As the foundation of all my smoothies, I start out with, with uh, weeds, weeds from the outside. I, I live out on... I live way out in the country in Georgia, and um, you always start with dandelion, and um, if you can find purslane, lamb's quarter, lots of great stuff. 
but just to show how easy it is for starters and so that you don't have to go out and uh, pick in your lawn. And by the way, if you're fertilizing your lawn or you have a lawn service that's spraying it for bugs or whatever, you don't want to eat those. Um, you want organic. So if anybody's, if you've been spraying your lawn within the last couple of years, I'd let it go. These greens in, in a colander here, they come from one of these commercial tubs for about $4 of organic mixed baby greens. Um, and then I will take, we better get this take right today because uh, I'm running out of greens too. So I'm going to basically, so I had a half a blender of sprouts. I'm going to stuff the blender full of greens. At this point I stick the lid on. By the way, when I built this place, these, these uh, cabinets came from came used. I bought them from Habitat for Humanity. Um, I think I got I think I got all the cabinets and the sink for about three hundred dollars from Habitat. And it took some fudging to fix them in, but I've even got Lazy Susans. Uh, the last time I built the house, I spent thirty-five thousand on the cabinets. So. Uh, even if these were 500, great deal. The countertops are oak plywood. Um, cut the fit the sink and sand it down and four coats of varnish. But with oak plywood countertops, you want to make sure you use a cutter board, cutting board all the time. Built this whole place myself. This was what I did on my summer vacation. What would that be? Uh, I guess that was 90. Ninety-two, ninety-three is the years I worked on here. Okay, so I stuffed my blender full a second time with as much romaine as I could get in there. It's stuck, it's stuck, it's not going down. So uh, that's my Vitamix plunger. I left my Vitamix on Maui this year. You want to be careful doing that because if you stuck this one all the way down, it'll oh grind the end just like that. <laughs> At this point, you've got energy soup. Now it's all about now it's all about the things you like. It's about additives, supplements. And by supplements, I don't mean things that are made by a chemical plant. Guys need zinc for the prostate. Uh, um, a handful of organic raw pumpkin seeds a day give you all the zinc you need. And it's a much better zinc than anything you're going to get out of one of those so-called multivitamins. This is my old coffee grinder. So when you go raw, there's still a needs omega-3. Anyhow, this is organic whole flax seed. And um, the body needs the omega-3s and the other items, elements in flax, but this nut is so hard that even if you soaked it, it's virtually impossible to chew up enough to make it digestible. However, without even soaking, three or four seconds in the coffee grinder and that's eminently digestible. That takes, so a couple tablespoonfuls of flaxseed every day for everybody. At this point, if I want to, um, I need iodine. A uh, good source of iodine for raw fooders is, is dulse or most of the sea vegetables, kelp. And a lot of people like the dulse on top. You can eat, eat your energy soup in a bowl. Drink it in a glass, beat it in a bowl, put it on top, makes a nice condiment. Um, I'm this rough and ready kind of guy that 
uh, basil, uh, anyhow, um, whatever you want to get multi seasonings. Okay, well, cayenne's not really part of the program. Parmesan, but um, you know, that's not Parmesan. That's Parmesan made from uh, um, cashew nuts. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this simple, getting pretty thick, so I want a little looser this time. that would have been whoop whoop. Okay, we had to leave it running a bit. So at this point we do the taste test. Neat thing about raw fooding, you can fix any recipe. That's fine to me, but I know from experience that after six years as a raw fooder, I like things pretty plain and basic. If I'm going to get anybody else in this house to eat that, I'm going to have to sweeten it up. And because that's not a real full blender full, see if I'd had all my sprouts, I'd have a full blender. If I had a full blender, I'd probably have two bananas. But for this, one banana is going to be plenty. Damn sweet. That's the best one yet today. And then you take so that's a that's a good healthy serving. If you're only gonna do one green smoothie a day, one of these great big what is it? It's at least a 12 ounce glass. Um one of those a day will change your life. Then you take the leftover and you mix it in with the dog food. Good. And Rover might not go for it the first day or two, but after a few days, she'll love it. As a matter of fact, Lulabelle's been Lulabelle's been having green smoothie with her uh, dog food as long as I've been raw. And if she wasn't outside on the front porch, she'd be trotting over here right now. But I had to leave her out of this house. Mahalo, aloha, that's Green Smoothie 101, it's that simple. Um, and as you see, I can make Green Smoothie and have breakfast ready quicker than most people could heat up the frying pan and have it hot enough to throw the bacon and eggs in yet. This is simple, anybody can do it. Aloha. <laughs>